Nice. I'm trying to so we're here with uh, Orbeck. And hi, so who are you? How are you? I'm Jason. I'm with Orbeck. We're a 3D camera manufacturer. We so, man so this is the Oppo uh, with your sensor in there? Yes, the Oppo Find X. It's the first of its kind Android device with a, a 3D camera inside of it. Uh, you've, there are other devices with 2D cameras, but this is the first. It's more secure than any 2D type device. Uh, it's a million times more secure, in fact. A million times more secure? Then like using a, uh, if you're using a fingerprint or a thumbprint, using your face is more secure. That's why people are moving toward that. So it uh, has all these uh, points on the face? Mm -hmm. It's is based it on structured pretty, light. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, infrared technology? No, ours is based on structured light. We do have an IR sensor we're launching today. It's going to be the stereo IR, but it's not this one. This is a structured light based technology. What's the difference between the infrared solution and the structured light This solution? one's a point based solution. It sends different Different points to your face, it can, so you can tell the different points and different sockets. So it can tell what's the difference your face looks like compared to what my face looks like. But the points are done with what? Not infrared stuff? No, no. It's just it's a depth sensor. There's it's two, two cameras. cameras. There's two That's cameras. It. It's by it's a, it's a computer vision type device. So it's just like using human binocular vision, yep. where you need two cameras, to see, two eyes to see in depth. Now with two cameras, you can see. Um, in depth using this type of device. So uh, why is your sensor the one that can do this and not just having any two, two cameras? We have, AI? well, no, you can't just use any two cameras because they also need an ASIC chip to make them work together. But And that's what we've specialized on. We built our ASIC chip first about five years ago and we have been building, we started with a device that was about this big and now we've got down to a device that's about this big. In fact, this was kind of in between. So this is the mean? Astra Mini. Is that this, was, this used to be our smallest device and now now, now this is our smallest device. So is this also the same technology, dual camera with an ASIC? Mm -hmm. This one has an RGB camera in it, so it actually has a real-time camera that you can like t take pictures with and do all the other fine, yeah. fine stuff. This one it does not have an RGB in it. There's a separate RGB for the device. So is it black and white 3D, or what does it mean, RGB? No, it's a depth map, so it can tell so kind of like if you were to look at the, what's behind me, that's kind of what a depth map always is. So the big one here is in this sensor here. There's two cameras with RGB or what is it here? Yeah, there's two, two cameras and then the RGB camera sensor in the middle. So there's three out there. And uh, how does that differ from uh, what Microsoft is doing with the Xbox? Did you use infrared? Microsoft used, if they started with structured light, Microsoft no longer does make the connect. It did get discontinued. Right. Um, and uh, uh, th these are uh, small. These are our brand new. So th these are the next generation cameras. They look a little bit bigger, but that's because they're more powerful. This is more powerful than um, any camera we've put out there. This is our new stereo IR camera. It's the first of its kind. So what is the advantage of using AR, A IR for this kind of stuff? Well, this give, provides more out outdoor applications. We can use them side by side in like a retail type environment. There's many different applications for this IR camera. We still love our structured light though, so we, we still have an Astra Embedded S. This is the next generation. It can go up to 60 frames per second. It's much more accurate, and it's short range. It's our shortest range application we've ever ever uh, released. So is uh, Orbeck, is it a, are you a huge company uh, in automation, security, and uh, self-driving cars and everything, or not? We focus on manufacturing. That's what we do. We're the manufacturer. We do work with a ton of different businesses. Um, when you come to our booth, you'll see HP there. You'll see Bosch there. You'll see Sony Music. We, uh, we have a robotics company that's going to be doing robotic picking there. So there are many different applications that other companies use our cameras for. Anywhere you see a 2D camera, you'll see our camera in the future. Is it good for self-driving cars or it, it doesn't could. go that far? It could. Different applications. In, in, it's better for in, inside of the car, uh, for any application you would need there. Inside in the future, the you can. We're working on stereo IR where you can do that. And uh, the structured light or the dual camera system um, has super high precision? It's very accurate, yeah. So That's why we stuck with structured light when a lot of people moved to TOF, because we find it much more accurate than all these uh, different applications that you could use. Uh, Structure light instead of what? DOF? Uh, time of flight. Time of flight. Mm -hmm. What is that? 
It's a different type of depth sensing technology. Yeah. Uh, and it's amazing you're on a smartphone right now, but you're only doing face recognition. Uh, would it be possible with your technology to scan a room? Uh, we, we hope in the future that we build, like I said, we build the technology for the smartphones. So we hope in the future that they'll put it on both sides and that we can see an AR type environment outside of there. But is it because this technology right now can only uh, reach like a meter and a half or something? It doesn't go that far? Mm, our main ones can go up to eight meters. Eight meters, but this one can only go That one was handheld. built for short range, so it could be built for longer, yeah. But it, and the size of a smartphone could be built for longer. Mm -hmm. It could be, yeah. Because um, there was this amazing uh, project Tango, right? Yes. And how did that work compared to what you're doing? Uh, I can't really. I don't really know the, the the ins and outs of Project Tango, but yes, I know they were very much into uh, depth sensing as well. Uh, but it, that's the difference between Orbic and all these other major players. This is all we do. All we do is depth sensing. Uh, the other major players out there, like Connect, they've come and they've gone because they realize that it's not something they're really committed to. We are committed to getting 3D right. Where's your ASIC? Somewhere here? It's right. It off this? Oh, this is just a display. It's not even on yeah. here. So there, you have some ASIC technology that really accelerates this. We have designed and created our own generation of ASIC chips. We just put out our third generation this year. So all of our new, all of our old cameras have the second generation. Everything since January of last year has a third generation ASIC chip. And where are you based? Our headquarters is in Shenzhen, China. We're based in uh, Michigan in the U.S. 